Okay, I've just literally got into this wildlife hospital and we've had a koala being rescued. That is absolutely incredible. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, Up close and personal. And a massive oh. snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. I'm in South Australia, and as you can see, right around me, this is all burnt forest. It used to be perfect eucalyptus forest, home to many, many different koalas. But obviously now there's no way that they can live here because their home has been on fire. Good thing is, is that there's been lots of Australians that really care for their wildlife. And they've come through this forest and have saved any koalas that they have seen. They've been taken now to wildlife carers, vets and other wildlife hospitals. I'm going to find out more about the koalas that have been rescued and what the rehabilitation process is of getting them back into the wild. It's hard to believe any wildlife could survive a large scale fire like this especially the koalas. Welcome to the Adelaide Koala and Wildlife Hospital. Amazing, wow, this is cool. I can see some lizard tanks already. We do all Native Australian wildlife, so we've got lizards, birds, koalas, and you name it. Well, I'm really interested to see your koala patients yes. particularly. Definitely, well come on through, I can show you around. Cool, thanks. As I turned up, there was a koala patient that had just been brought in by a couple who had rescued her. This one not from the fires, but still needs urgent treatment for a disease called mange. She does look like she's got something called mange on her. And so have a look at that back oh, area. Yes, look at oh look at that leg. Yeah. So she's a little girl and she's got oh, a little baby little. in there. Oh, oh. oh wow. That is absolutely incredible. Lucky for this mum and her Joey, this hospital can give them the specialist treatment they need. Next up, I meet with the koala patients who have been rescued from the nearby fire areas. This koala right here has been suffering from the fires that ravaged through the country. Luckily for her, she's been saved and has come to this hospital to, and will be treated for really, really bad inhalation of smoke. Come. Well, the interesting thing about koalas is that they actually manage to survive just eating these leaves. These leaves have got a kind of toxin in there. So they've got an amazing way of taking them down into their gut and fermenting it to get as much energy out of this really low nutritious meal. It's, it's incredible that's the only thing they eat. Time for Ashley to get her checkup. Ashley was a beautiful koala that was found at the Cudley Creek Fireground. She was picked up yesterday. She was found in the inside of a burnt out tree. So luckily, the koala's yes. been found inside, yeah. taking refuge within a tree yes. yeah. and has been saved. That's absolutely remarkable. So the main concern is that they'll have burns to their feet or their skin um, and they can have some smoke inhalation. But we're just going to turn her over so we can have a really good look. And are koalas, they're, they're quite susceptible to dehydration, is that right? Yeah, and I guess especially with the significant heat waves we've been having, the trees themselves are really dry and therefore the leaf is really dry. So when these guys are eating all the leaf, which is their sole source of diet, they're not getting as much hydration as they would in the cooler months. So we have a look at her little feet. There actually aren't any burns to her paws, which is really good. So hopefully she wasn't around when the significant fire went through. She's definitely got a lot of um, charcoal, uh, charcoal, charcoal and, like the burn so stuff on it. So if you see this, so if you go, I've just, just been rubbing, you know, you, you can see it's quite a little bit of darkness. You can't really see it that well, but yeah, look there. So that has come from fire, from the charcoal on the trees. Look how great, just totally great. Normally a koala has this really nice white under underbelly. That is totally great. It's great because of all the smoke and all the charred trees. Yeah, it's kind of coming off. It really is amazing that she's been found and is getting all this care and attention that she needs in order to get her back out into the wild. So from, from here, where, where's she gonna go? She'll stay here for today and then go to her carer tomorrow, just so that we can keep an eye on her and make sure that she's all right, how she's eating and climbing. 
Well, that seems fairly, fairly positive considering the circumstances. What do you think is the chances of her managing to survive and get back out into the wild? Well, if we can get everything under control, we're about 80% chance that she'll go well. well we just really? have to make sure that we can keep her pain-free and supportive care throughout her healing process. 80%? Well, I'm definitely happy with that. That's yes. amazing. I cannot believe that. We've got a koala here that's had unbelievably unfortunate circumstances. Being in a fire area, you wouldn't have zero chance. I would have thought that koala could survive that. But 80% chance, definitely happy with that. Yeah, and we'll pop her in a recovery house um, while she wakes up from her sedation. Um, and then we'll start working out a feeding plan for her. Do you want to carry her over? Yeah, <laughs> I'm always up for carrying koala. <laughs> so how do you do this? Like a baby. Like a baby? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That is treatment number one for Ashley. It's a long time for recovery. It may be a number of weeks until she's back to her full health, but she's on her way. The koala I meet next has been in the ward for a few weeks already and is very nearly there after suffering severe burns. So this handsome fellow is Woody from Woodside. He was down sitting on the side of the road um, near one of the bushfire zones. So he was picked up by a carer he had a little bit of scalding to the fur around his bottom, but it was mostly his back feet. Okay, I'd love to see how those burns are healing. Yes. Can we have a look at your foot? Good boy. So all where the pink skin was, we had to debride it away. So all burnt, burnt skin all the way around. The pink bit was where it was really nasty, but um, it's actually looking really good now. When you touch it, it's like nice soft baby skin. Well, what fantastic news, Woody has been treated over the past month after having burnt severely his feet and bottom. But actually the Adelaide Koala and Wildlife Hospital have treated it so well, he's nearly ready to be released back into the wild. Now that's amazing. We've got a group here that's doing as best they can possibly do. You can't treat every single koala in trouble, but every single one makes a difference. What an amazing opportunity to witness firsthand the amazing work the vets and nurses and actually the whole community are doing. Getting those koalas back out into the wild is the ultimate goal. But first, the eucalypt forest needs to regenerate. This really is quite positive. You never imagine this. Just look at this tree, absolutely charcoal, black, fires come through here. You wouldn't think there's any chance of this tree being able to survive. But look here, only a few weeks after a fire, look at this greenness, absolutely remarkable. That is a re-sprouting mechanism. Eucalyptus have evolved to live with fire and after the fire there has buds in here that stay dormant and they re-sprout here. So this revegetation that's happening is the reason why these forests actually have a chance of surviving. I reckon in a few years time I'll come back here and see this place thriving again with lots of wildlife. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know these koalas a little bit more from these episodes in South Australia. This iconic species are most famous for being cute and cuddly. But I think we should also be adding strong and gracious to their name. They truly are the most special animals. And thankfully, they have the entire world's support behind their recovery. Rain, finally, it started raining. Look right there, koala curled up right at the top of a tree. This is exactly what we've been waiting for around here. Not only are the koalas cooling down, but all the water they're being sucked up by this massive eucalyptus tree is making those leaves really succulent. I can see some of the water just like soaking on that koala. It's such a beautiful sight to see. Yes.